Gotta make it to 20. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine 10, 11. It actually hurts. Yeah, we can't quit, we can't quit. Okay, just a few more times. Help us guys, come on, count along with us. This set is really hard. A little motivation will help. Oh, I'm sure Oh, we could do this. I don't know how much longer I can do this. I'm so I'm tired. I'm tired. We're tired. Oh. Okay, we gotta stay committed, Caroline. Remember what Coach said. Yes. No pain, no, no gain. gain. All right. Isn't that oh what gosh. they always say? Guys, this gym class is, oh, it's no joke. Oh. It's really testing our strength. You can say that again. <laughs> Guys, this gym class is, oh, it's no joke. Oh. It's really testing our strength. Oh. We're struggling with this. And there's a whole set of things to prepare. Well, but this isn't even the crazy part. The two of us have been doing everything we can to finish in time without cheating. Yeah, but it seems like we're the only ones. Our coach walked out a few minutes ago and specifically told us to follow our list before the timer goes off. Mm -hmm. No cheating allowed, but everyone started cheating as soon as coach walked away. Yeah, and now they're halfway down the list. We only have two minutes left to finish it all, and we're nowhere close. Mm -mm. If we don't complete this set before coach comes back, we don't pass. Help! <sighs> okay, ready? Let's do it. All right, line up. No! No, no, not yet. All right, let's just get it over with. We'll explain how we followed the rules and the other kids didn't. I'm sure she's gonna understand. But are you sure about that? What, what if? Pass your list down the line. No need for small talk. Everyone who's completed the task, you can sit out this next round. To the other gym mates, hit the sidelines. You owe me 20 knee highs and 20 arm curls. Coach, wait a minute. You have to hear. <laughs> no time for small talk. Hit the sidelines. I thought you said she'd understand. I guess I was wrong. This isn't fair. We did everything right. I know, no pain, no gain, ugh. Maybe we can just do this one with, with them. Only if you want to. I mean, we do have to do 20 high knees. That's, you know, these. Oh, oh. Oh. And, and then we have to do 20 of these. Oh, oh gosh. Um, my arms are already hurting from all of the other workouts. You in? I'll set the timer. It seems like it's just the two of you. Your other gym mates will track your time while I step away for a quick meeting with the other coaches. I'm not sure I can keep doing this. You can. Classmates, stand up on your feet if you're gonna do it with us. We're gonna do what's right, even if it causes us a little more pain. It's okay, Brie, breathe. This just feels so, so hard. We're doing what's right, and it feels like a punishment. Everyone else gets to relax right now, and I don't know if I can if I can carry these weights anymore. You can, trust me. Even when no one's watching, you can do it. Don't give up. But, but this is just so embarrassing. They're all laughing at us. <laughs> no pain, no I can't. gain. I can't. Nine, it's too hard. 10, 11. All right, everyone to the middle. But coach, we haven't finished. What, what do you mean? Today's class was a test to see if you would commit, even when it got hard, even when no one was looking, and even when others didn't do what was right. And you two passed the test. Today's lesson is called standing strong. Well, I feel like I'm standing weak. I bet you were working hard. Everyone gather around. It's time for a much needed water break. You've been learning so much here at the School of Jesus. Yeah, about Jesus' Sermon on the Mount. And we've still got a lot of learning from him to do. Today, we're reading in Matthew 5, verse 10. Let's read through that scripture first and let's break down what it means and what it says. This is what Jesus said. Blessed are those who suffer for doing what's right. The kingdom of heaven belongs to them. I'd say we suffered through the beginning of this class. We had to do really hard things. And not give up, even when it got super embarrassing. Sometimes hard things happen and it feels like suffering. So sometimes when that happens, it makes us want to give up. Has that ever happened to you before? Yes, literally like a minute ago. Have you ever thought things like, clearly that didn't work, or why did I even try? 
Or have you ever done the right thing, but got made fun of or left out because of it? I didn't cheat like other people, but I got the bad grade, not them. Yeah, same. It made me feel like, is it even worth it to do what's right? When we choose to follow Jesus, we're choosing to do what's right. That's what he tells us to do, no matter what, even if it costs us something and even if it hurts. Jesus actually understands this feeling so much. This is what he says in Matthew 5, 11 through 12. So those next two verses. He said, blessed are you when people make fun of you or hurt you because of me. You are also blessed when they tell all kinds of evil lies about you because of me. Be joyful and glad. Your reward in heaven is great. In the same way people hurt the prophets who lived long ago. Following Jesus isn't easy. It will cost you something, but it's always worth it. This isn't as easy as it sounds though. Following Jesus and choosing him all the time can be really hard especially when I'm around my friends and I want to be liked, I don't want to be picked on, and I really don't like the feeling of being left out. That feels like suffering. If we suffer for doing what's right, Jesus tells us that we are blessed. He will give us more than what it costs us. If you stand up for Jesus and you lose friends, you're still gonna get a reward from God. If you do what's right and not cheat on a test, you may not get the perfect score, but God sees that and you're gonna get a reward from Him. You might not get your reward right away or right here, but heaven is a real place. And Jesus says that our reward will be great in heaven. He said it so we can believe it. So my reward might not happen now, but God won't forget when I do what's right. He'll remember and reward me in heaven, like extra special there. That's exactly right. He will remember and reward you there. Sometimes though, he will give us a reward here on earth and blessing on earth too. He's so kind like that. He sees when it's hard and he sees when we stand up for what's right anyway. Standing up for what's right isn't an easy life, but it is a blessed life. And that's what I want you to remember today. Write it down so you don't forget. Standing, Standing up, up for what's, what's right isn't an easy life, life but it is a blessed life. life. Not always easy, but mm. always blessed. I think I can live with that. Me too. No pain, no gain, right? Right. Okay, so your homework for this week is two. Number one, think of one way you can practice standing up for what's right this week. And then number two, I want you to ask the Holy Spirit to help you because we can't do it on our own. We need help. I think I have an idea of a way that I can stand up for what's right with my family. Hmm. And I think I have an idea of how I can stand up for what's right at school. I love it. Now, the only way that we're even able to stand up for what's right is because of Jesus. We really actually can't do it on our own, like at all. Even if we try really, really hard, we would never be able to do it all the time. We only can because of Jesus. He stood up for what was right, no matter what, even when it was hard and even when it hurt. Jesus stood up for us, even though we aren't perfect, even though we mess up, even though we haven't always stood up for what's right, He still stood up for us and people hurt him. They talked bad about him, they abandoned him. He knows what it feels like to suffer. He had every reason not to do it, but he did it for us anyway. We don't deserve it, but he loved us anyway. He stood up for us first, so now we can stand up for him too, and he will help us. So let's do it. Let's stand up for Jesus. Thanks, Coach. I needed to hear that. Me too. I don't have to do it on my own because Jesus did it and we can do it too because he will help us. Of course. Now, let's get back to our workout. 